Good evening, everybody. Welcome back once again to the Kennett Flash. It's Andrew Miller here. We are streaming live from beautiful downtown Kennett Square into your living rooms, into your garages, into your bars, into your homes, into your lives from beautiful downtown Kennett Square. And we have an amazing performance tonight. We have the last ever performance by the legendary Delaware trio, the Cox. We're going to get it over to the stage in just one minute here, but I wanted to let you know that the Kennett Flash is trying to raise just a little bit of money tonight to offset our expenses of producing this event. Uh, we have a modest goal this evening of just $300. That'll take 20 donors at $15 a piece to get us there. Please consider making a donation to the Kennett Flash this evening. It's very easy. KennettFlash.org slash donate. KennettFlash.org slash donate. Help us reach our modest goal and then uh, certainly concurrently, but certainly after the flash reaches our goal, we want to direct as many donations as we can to the band. And the band has chosen tonight to direct all their donations to the Kennett Food Cupboard, which is a really, really cool thing. You can find the Kennett Food Cupboard online at CACS. It's K-A-C-S online dot net slash give. Um, you'll see that address come up on the screen during the performance. It's in the comment section already on Facebook and YouTube. But we would love, uh, in lieu of uh, giving donations to the band, we are directing all the band's donations this evening to the Kennett Food Cupboard. Uh, really, really cool thing. They do great work, and uh, we're really supportive of them here at the Kennett Flash, and we'd love to see them get some great support tonight as well. So please make sure you give tonight. Um, I got a lot to say, a lot to talk about, things in the Kennett Flash world, and I want to talk to these guys in a little bit. But how about we start it off with some music? Ladies and gentlemen, the Cox. <laughs>
Good evening. We are the Cox from Newcastle, Delaware. Thanks for joining us tonight. This next song is called Jack Rabbit.
sound You're always talking about Jesus And clutching your Bible time With Jesus everything will be alright So brightly We'll get high Higher than God tonight How can no one's listening? How can no one's listening to you? How can no one ever Listen to you? You, you, you Stop and It's alright Shout out to everybody watching us at the Jackson Inn tonight. Hope you're enjoying the show. and Happy birthday to Pete's sister, Rose. And happy first day of spring. Spring is coming. Finally here. Spring is sprung. The song's called Soda Jerk. <laughs> Just to get 
take a little uh, breather break here and Andrew Miller is going to speak uh, short little breather little short break. short uh, I just wanted to say hi again to everybody at home um, we're definitely enjoying this performance but I wanted to let you know that uh, we are hopeful to raise a little bit of money tonight we want to raise some funds to offset the cost for the Kennet Flash for this performance you can go make a donation to the Kennet Flash uh, we're suggesting $15 but maybe if two people are watching you'll want to donate 30 maybe you only have five or ten bucks to donate that's okay too we'll take donations in any form at kennetflash.org slash donate kennetflash.org slash Slash donate. We thank you for your donation this evening to the Kennet Flash. Um, in lieu of donations, or uh, the band is accepting donations, but they want them to be funneled to um, the Kennet Food Cupboard. Uh, we'll throw that link up on the screen in just a minute here, um, uh, but it's uh, off the top of my head. It's uh, CACs Online dot net slash give and we'll put that up on the screen in a little bit too uh we want to support the kennett food cupboard uh with this performance tonight as well so please maybe uh if you're so able make a small donation to the flash and make a small donation to the food cupboard as well uh i want to say thank you to a couple people and a couple organizations at this time um who have supported the kennett flash and who have gotten us to this point last weekend it was one year ago um that we hosted our last in-person performance here at the Kennet Flash. So uh, we're making it happen, um, and we're making it happen because of um, specific people and specific organizations, and I want to give them shout-outs right now. Um, the Kennet Flash was supported uh, late last year from an organization by an organization called the Live Music Society. We are extremely grateful for the support of the Live Music Society, the support that they gave us towards the end of the year. They chose just 20 venues nationwide to support. Um, they chose venues, uh, specifically small venues, that were in the greatest need and um, has stood the strongest chance of not being able to survive without support. So the, the Kennet Flash was among of twenty among twenty venues that was recognized nationwide and got support from the Live Music Society. We are so thankful to them. We are thankful to the Chester County Community Foundation. Uh, Chester County through the CARES Act was appropriated some money. And that was distributed by the Chester County Community Foundation, who uh, we have regular support from. But that specific CARES Act funding and that specific funding we got from the Chester County Community Foundation in December will be a large part of what gets us through this crazy time. We also want to thank NEVA, the National Independent Venue Association. The Kenneth Flash became a member of NEVA uh, really early on in the pandemic, uh, the end of March, beginning of April last year. Um, NEVA, of course, started the hashtag Save Our Stages. That became legislation. That legislation was passed at the end of December. We're still waiting for those funds. That program should be rolled out in April, and that program is going to be the one that saves us. But in the meantime, NEVA, the National Independent Venue Association, granted us some money in December that will sustain us until we get to where we need to go with 
the big uh, Save Our Stages shuttered venue grant uh, coming later in April, later this year. So because of all that, um, we, we've been able to get through, and we've really been able to get through. The one person I didn't mention, and I can't not mention, is you guys. You guys at home who have donated to these performances, who have gone to kennetflash.org slash donate and made a donation, you guys have made this happen. You guys have said, we want the Kennet Flash here, and a year later, we're still standing. There were a lot of times in that in that period where I didn't know we were going to make it. I'm pretty darn confident right now we're going to make it. We're going to make it because of you. We're going to make it because of these organizations that made these donations, and we are so thankful. We had announced this week that we will be presenting concerts outdoors this summer. We were not afforded the opportunity to do that last summer, but this summer, thanks to the borough of Kennett Square, we will be presenting concerts on the roof of the Kennett Square parking garage. It's going to be really cool. We're still in the planning stages, but we announced our first concert. It's Saturday, June 5th with Beatlemania again. The Beatles on a rooftop. How about that? That's pretty cool. Um, wow. Wow. So much to talk about, so much to say, um, but uh, I, I want to uh, turn the attention now to the band a little bit, um, and I have a couple questions for you guys, if that's okay. Yeah. Great. <laughs> so, um, there is rumor, uh, and it's not really rumor because, uh, it, you know, it was in all our advertising, that this is the last performance by the Cox. Um, some people said artistic differences. Some people said there was a manager that passed away. Um, you know, Rest in peace, man. Yeah, I, and, and then there was a new wild protege who took over, and that got weird. Um, some people say it's simply because your label dropped you. And then, uh, and then there was the stories of the van getting robbed and all the equipment being stolen. So I'm here right now to find out the truth. What is the truth? What really happened? Yes. I'll turn that question over to our drummer. Okay. Pete Romano. <laughs> but he doesn't have a microphone, so he can't really say. Uh, maybe he could just mouth it or sign language. He does know sign language. It's all true. It's all I can say. Every bit of it's true. He says it's all true. Every bit of it's true. Okay. So I'm going to move on from that question. I'm going to I'm going to move on from that question and that's okay. That's, th this is it, it, from from my math, my crazy math. The Cox have been playing together for pretty much like 20 years now. Is that right? Yep. Once again, I'm going to turn that question over to my uh, drummer, <laughs> Pete Romano. <laughs> he uh, cuz he doesn't have a mic. He doesn't have a mic. Okay. So, you know, I'm going to still try, I'm, I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to try to uh, brave on, uh, you know. And so I hear, when I listen to the Cox, I hear uh, ghosts of kind of other things. And some of that is the Knobs, a Delaware band that I'm very familiar with that, Phil, you were part of for a long, long time. Um, but th but the story of the Cox is at least started out as kind of Phil and Mark, and there were a couple other bands in the 90s, uh, Rubber Uglies and Sucky, those two bands. I am personally, I'm aware of those bands, but I'm not really familiar with the music. The Knobs, uh, very familiar. That's, you know, you got a big star vibes, you got uh, uh, bad finger vibes, all that kind of stuff in the knobs, that power pop, that sweet, you know, uh, songwriting, all that kind of stuff. Tell me a little bit about uh, Rubber Uglies and Sucky. Mark's going to take that question. All right. Well, you're not saying much, Phil. What's up with that? Um, <laughs> I will, I will uh, just... Uh, so I will just kind of direct the questions. So, uh, Troy Tatman, Kevin Cheeseman, rest in peace, uh, started out the Rubber Uglies back in the late 80s. And Phil and Kevin go way back. They're neighbors and grew up with each other, played in a band before that. Phil brought Kevin in, and sound evolved and changed a little bit. And then they brought me in, sound evolved and changed a little bit more. Long story short, we did some recording. We played Lollapalooza down in Virginia in 92, and then uh, just kind of ran its course and broke up in 93. And after that, um, 
Phil and Kevin started a band together called Ham. Troy and I started a band together called Pigeonhole. Those bands ran their course, and then Sucky came along. Uh, we had a concept there where we all switched instruments and instruments that we weren't used to playing, so therefore we sucked, and so we got kind of good at it. How, how would you say the music of Rubber Uglies and Sucky, if, if anything, how would you say that music informs what you guys went on to do with the Cox? Just total chemistry between yeah. Mark and I. Yeah. You know, I know what he's going to play, and I, I'm like, I think the same thing. We're like yeah, two I mean, steps ahead of each other, which you, so you, I mean, you just don't I mean, find that. So, know. so I mean, we're ta not only 20 years of playing together as the Cox, uh, give or take a year, uh, but we're talking nearly 30 years yeah. of playing yeah, we're together. Talking like uh, yeah, this probably 1990. Yeah, this will be uh, uh, yeah 91. Yeah, this will be 30 years. Bill it's awesome. Been. It's been an awesome ride, and. Yeah. Um, and Are you luckily, gonna luckily, we've got Pete Romano in the mix. Yeah, and, uh, so Pete. So we're just basically like, you know. Pete came in before you guys released the full length, right? The first yeah. full length record. So our uh, drummer disappeared. Never heard from him since. Uh, so we were in the midst of doing a recording, and we needed to finish it up. We had like three songs left to finish, and... Um, you know, I'd known Pete for years, and our kids grew up together. I want to say Gangster Pump. Is that yep. a thing? Yep. All right. Yep. Yep. That's All right. Yeah. <laughs> Close enough. I saw Pete play. He was playing bass. I'm like, oh, I, didn't, I had no mm -hmm. idea he was a drummer and, and such an incredible drummer. So it, it, it's not like he put an ad in a swapper, you know? <laughs> so, okay, so let's fast forward a little bit. So 2010 or so, uh, you guys put out a record, a full-length record, um, or, or was that 2011? 2010? That 2010. And then more recently. December rec 4th, I think you should remember that date. Uh, I think you we were did. responsible for our yeah, CD I think, release party. I think we did a CD release party at Mojo Main uh, with Caterpillar and a couple other acts, uh, the great Caterpillar. Um, and then uh, fast forward a couple more years, uh, maybe 2016, you guys put out an EP? Yes, and we did. So, so you had the full length and you had the EP. And y you have some songs maybe that you're playing tonight that are on neither? Uh, yes, we probably half our set is not even released. Uh, and um, and I, I, I'm going to... What are you saying, Mark? <laughs> I'm saying we got to do some recording. Hey, that's a good thing. I like that. So but, you know, we're breaking up, so... I don't well, know. well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So you, I, along the way there, uh, you guys started a relationship with the Jackson Inn uh, the past couple of years. Uh, Jackson Inn was having uh, some trouble uh from what i understand uh not nothing crazy but they didn't know if they were going to make it uh it's hard to make it these days and somebody got the idea to build a stage and start doing open mics who was that it was pete, had eh, pete was the impetus for that so you guys were you guys playing together every week as the cox for a little bit yeah so we no matter if we had gigs or not we would always get together once a week to write and hang out and um, just rehearse. And um, so that, you know, it's just, it's a relationship that we have. So it's, it's, it's so, just a cool thing. So the, open, so the open mic became almost like an open rehearsal yeah, in some yeah, ways. Yeah, exactly. We, we, we built a stage and, um, you know, we, we pretty much backlined it. And then um, we started having open mics pretty much the first week after we built the stage. And, uh, and it was just a great vibe. And it's still a great vibe. So it's, we, we accomplished a lot um, as a band and as just music fans, you know. That's awesome. I'm going to, one final question, and it goes music fans. Non, it, it, no, from all three of you, I need an answer. Favorite Delaware band of all time, not including a band that you've played in? <laughs> I would have to say Rocket 88 for me personally. Awesome. They were just here the other week. Love, Mark. Well, I didn't play in the knobs, so I think I can name that 
<laughs> Although I did have a relationship with the with the band, but I was not. I never played with the knob. So, I mean, how do you top that? I think Pete. I think Pete's favorite band was uh, Prince. What? Is what I heard. <laughs> it, Mega, all right. I see th they were doing a bunch at 1984. I see them doing stuff at Dew Point Brewery and yeah. Really yeah. interesting band, great, I mean, in insane musicianship and uh, just a, a great guy. Just really cool, original, really original music. Cool. I would, I would. That's awesome. You said Mega because I was expecting to hear, uh, you know, bands from the 90s or or you know someone blurred There's out. A lot of great bands. To that are going on right now. Or uh, blurred out television yeah, or uh, something like that, yeah, but, uh, yeah. you know, acceptable answers. Exactly. I mean, it, it, Delaware has always been um, sold short, I think, by one person. I'm not going to name the person, but he was very successful and the hardest working man in show business. <laughs> but there is so much more to... I thought you were going to say Ryan Cormier, but d no. Uh, Who? <laughs> he also plays three chords. Yeah. <laughs> anyway... No, yeah, I know who you're so talking much. about. Right. It's, it's such a great talent pool in, in um, Delaware throughout, from the, from one end of the state to the other. And it's so cool to, you know, we've been playing so long and steadily. We, we've, we've always steadily been playing. We never, never took a break. So we always see um, new faces, and it's, it's really nice to see that. And But, uh, yeah, I mean, going back from I started playing music in the – early 80s, and I was exposed to a lot of these older, more um, seasoned uh, veterans of the area, and they always took me under the wing. They knew, kind of added my heart to, you know, it's, it's, it's what I do. And um, so I was always fortunate to really hang out with the cool, the cool group, the, the group of, of uh, musicians there, and be exposed to that, you know, way back in the day, the Buggy Tavern, the State Theater, um, and it's it's kind of left a mark on me, you know. I think I'm, it's I'm left like a mark on me too, man. Yeah, yeah. So I'm so. I'm kind of taking a little bit of the reins, and then there's hopefully a younger group that's going to take yeah. the reins from us. Well, um, th thank you, thank you for doing this here tonight, guys. Really appreciate it. Uh, thank you for uh, Ford and your donations to the Kennett Food Cupboard. Thank you to everybody at home who's making a donation this evening. Let's have some more music. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, the Cox. So young and naive When you speak, it's so clean When the sun shines over your hair You leave this town, boy You come back as a man you close when I'm out of reach but some of them fall oh! they've been falling for years the junk chews them up it makes me taste my tears oh. damn I'm getting so cold damn I'm getting so mean damn I don't want it all Myself straight by myself in your 
Song's called One Day. Yeah. 
woke up this morning I had needles in my hand When every morning That I wake up in this bed view of the world And I was a rock And now my mind just rocks back I need rain We gotta get out We gotta get out We gotta get out of the house Sunlight and the dew, another shadow on my wall. I've forgotten it all. The hopes, fears, sudden tears, and everything that you hold dear. But I wait to the sun. I we gotta get out. We gotta get out. We gotta get out of the house. We gotta get. Out. Cheers, everyone. It's Saturday night, right? It is. Kind of square. And uh, please donate to the uh, that local food bank, the Kennett Cupboard. Um, obviously, I'm not starving. Some people are. So, you know, break out the credit card and make it right. And um, that's why we're playing here tonight. And uh, and uh, we're just we're just getting by, man. We're just uh, playing our hearts out for you. So, uh, yeah, look that up and uh, donate, please. Thank you. It's called Year I Feared. I believe this year will fulfill me. I can see Paint along a foul behind me. I will leave you through this darkness. I walked it myself, it was such a mess. I can see some changes in me. It's all right. I was feared this 
this year What you brought It makes it so clear At times I feel Like I'm standing beside me So nice to know I can see Some changes in me It's all around in this town This is a year I feared. 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 Same for two 
long I wanna make a name Cause nothing stays the same for two Long For two Long For two Long In my downfall Where I found some dark halls In my downfall Where I've seen prison walls I always seem to think of you Grab a beer. There we go. Grab four for three. Thanks, sir. Yeah. Use the explosive one? I think I will. You'll find out. So we've had rehearsals for this gig, and um, every time Mark brings over uh, <laughs> a bag of beer, the mystery beer he calls it, they all explode. <coughs> I don't know what is going on with your refrigeration system over at the house, but you I need to get it I looked at. I think I've at. got gnomes out there that go out there and shake up the beers. I'll bring my electric that. meter over next week, and we'll figure out what's going on. I think it's the motherboard that he's having problems with. <laughs> It's a little number called October Skies. It's off our EP. Here we go. Well, if I got lost, lost in the southwest, where would it? that be the best? The stars in the desert sky, stare at them till sun.
to the sky. watching and um, hopefully you're having a good time I heard some people bought some uh, new TVs big screens and everything to watch this show and uh, you know it's a uh, it's a pretty cool thing because there's nobody here in the room right now just uh, just us yeah just us just, just little it. old us hanging out all right this is a this is a uh, and we got a roadie. He disappeared. I think he went. He went somewhere else. He went after the bus to do some coke. Yeah, he's got. A, he's got a lot of problems. Issues. Of course, he's with us.
All right, we're going to take a little uh, break here. And, uh, we've got more songs coming up, so uh, stay tuned. Powder your nose and adjust your hose, as uh, Mark Keneally would say. <laughs> I think that's my cue. Uh, I'm, I'm yeah, back. I got it. I'm back. You know, uh, I just was uh, checking uh, donations, writing down uh, some notes and everything like that. We are actually just one $15 donation away from our $300 goal here this evening for the Kennet Flash. One $15 donation away from that goal. KennetFlash.org slash donate. KennetFlash.org slash donate. Take the time to make a donation to the Kennet Flash. Be that person who puts us over the top. Don't think it's going to be someone else. Make it you. Make you the one who puts us over the top. You want to donate five or ten bucks? Do it. And then the next person's going to be the one that puts us over the top. You can donate $15 now. $16 puts us $1 over the goal. So make a donation to the Kennet Flash. KennetFlash.org slash donate. Um, also, just wanted to say, uh, again, special thanks to the band this evening, not only for choosing the Kennet Flash stage for this very special performance, but also for um, earmarking the Kennett Food Cupboard uh, for all their donations this evening. If you haven't already, please take the time to donate to the Kennett Square Food Cupboard tonight. Um, that address can be put on our screen again, and it will be. Um, it's also in the comment section all the way at the top on uh, YouTube and on Facebook as well. Uh, please uh, take the time. Uh, it's CAX, K-A-C-S. Uh, online.net slash give, G-I-V-E. Um, a lot of people don't think about the totality of what Kennett Square is, um, but obviously there is a big migrant population in Kennett Square uh, working on the farms, and there are a lot of families that are in need. Um, migrant or not, you know, um, there are a lot of families in Kennett in need. Um, a lot of families going hungry. A lot of families need help right now. So please consider a donation to Kennett Area Community Services and the Kennett Food Cupboard at kacsonline.net slash give. Um, I've already talked to the Kennett Food Cupboard about this evening. I let them know we were directing donations to them this evening, and uh, they were very, very appreciative. Um, so please uh, make us look good tonight. Make the band look good and help someone out at the same time um, and make a donation to the Kennett Square Food Cupboard this evening and Kennett Area Community mm -hmm. Services. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight, guys. We have a couple more from the Cox. I'm going to throw it right back over to the stage. Um, we wouldn't be able to do this all without you. Everything we're doing at the Kennett Flash is because of you. It's been a year that we've made it without a live audience, and we've done that first and foremost, above all else, because of you, because you guys have willed it. Uh, to be the way. Uh, we're going to get through this because of you. Thank you so much, and thanks again to the Cox uh, for a very special night here at The Flash. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, the Cox. Thanks a lot, Andrew. Thanks for having us up here at the Cannon Flash. Um, uh, this next song is called Millville Cemetery, and um, I'd like to thank Rob Waters and W Films for doing a, a really nice video for this song uh, a few years back when... when uh, release this um, EP so um, it's a really uh, it's it for me to have a, a video of our music uh, professionally done and in a really um, interesting standpoint uh, it, it it really it, it kind of gives the listeners something else to you know uh, listening on Spotify is one thing but when you see a video of your song you know it, it just people kind of hang around a little bit more to, to listen. And uh, so videos are a are, are really awesome thing. And um, um, we're going to, um, well, videos. And in, 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 uh, Monica Bullett did a, a video for too long, which we already played that. But uh, it just conveys uh, the song and, and just really makes it, for, for the writer, uh, it, it really makes it kind of cool to, to see uh, other people's perspective. Um, so, all right, here we go. This is Millville Cemetery. Bury me in Millville. 
Hill Cemetery Way down Clubhouse Road Next to Pittman's Chicken Farm The wind it screams Blows the leaves from the trees Now winter bottoms gown with all the pornography My mind is weak I need some sleep I'm in too deep to turn back now oh, oh, oh. Bury me oh. In Millville Cemetery when I die, will they name a road after me? This land loves me. It feels so good on my feet. I speak to you, though, that you're, you're no longer with me. My mind is weak. I need some sleep I'm in too deep to turn back now Turn back So we did a little recording session in Minor Street Studios in Philadelphia in uh, 2017. And uh, we played a lot of, we recorded some really good stuff, some really good material there. And um, this is a uh, song off of that uh, session. And um, of course, you know, we're, we're always trying to up our game. But it's a little intimidating. 
and you do a session like that. And uh, thank God we were able to record it in a studio that was, you know, we're, we're just really comfortable up there. And, um, you know, they, they treat us really well. And uh, so we're going we're gonna to share this song with you all right now. It's called Dead Stick Landing. Yeah, so basically, if you ever swing by my place on a Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday, this is what's going on. Maybe after everybody gets uh, cleared, you know, we always open that up for people to stop by and kind of hang out and tell stories and jam with us, you know. So 
Um, yeah, we're going away, you know, but uh, it's been a great 20 years. Right, Mark? Yep. Basically, we I'm got, done. We retired. We, I'm done. Our pensions are fat. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> why work if you don't have to, right? Yeah. Playing original music is quite lucrative. <laughs> Dude. Thomas. Who knew? Well, <laughs> out of something bad comes something good, right? So this next song was written from uh, by a, a friend of ours, and uh, this goes back to the you know, the sucky days. And Kevin Cheeseman wrote a song called Swallow, and um, like all of us, we just process. Take my life while I take your soul You're the one I blame for me getting old I need a drink to try and kill this pain And everything that's good has started to drain In my mind, I'll never believe You'll roam around, but you'll never be free There's nothing left and that's easy to see When I talk to you, never go away from me It's time to breathe, it's time to take control I can't understand why you act so cold Give everything I can to you, my dear And every day brings a new kind of feel In my mind, I'll never believe You'll roam around, but you'll never be free There's nothing left in that season to see When I talk to you, you're away from me Yeah, yeah So that was called Swallow. Got one more, and um, we always like to play this song because it's one of our <coughs> favorite bands. One of those bands that was never really, um, I don't know. It's a shame more people didn't know about them, but uh, a lot of musicians, uh, I'm going back, I'm talking about a band called out of Richmond, Virginia called Sparkle Horse. And, um, you know, Mark Linkhouse and everything that he was part of, a lot of, you know, P.J. Harvey and, uh, you know, yeah, it's just, uh, it's amazing, like, what kind of gets you to here. And uh, so 
you know, I, I like a lot of music, but, you know, like uh, Bon Jovi wasn't it for me. So <laughs> it's all good. And Bon Jovi had a great uh, run. He's Not that there's anything wrong with that. Nothing although, wrong with it. Although he did butcher that Pogue song. We won't talk about that. Really? That's news to me. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't on my... Uh, you're, you're better off for it. Okay. But anyway, this is our last song for the evening, and uh, we'd like to thank the Kenneth Flash and Andrew Miller, everybody working behind the scenes here. Um, our roadie, who is basically drunken off of his... Uh, he's giving me the double fingers right now and <laughs> oh, showing me his belly. And, um, <laughs> hey, man, it's all good. We've had a great time here tonight. Um, it's really, like awesome to be able to play in front of nobody um, we really enjoy that and it's basically like a lot of our gigs so nothing's changed all right here we go it's called Sunday <laughs>
Thank you, everybody. Have a great night. We were the Cox. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it one more time for the Cox. How about that? Very, very, very special show. Very honored to have these guys at the Kennet Flash uh, wrapping it up, calling it a career, uh, you know, in their, in their, uh, in the prime, uh, right when they hit the big time that they pull the plug and it's over. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in tonight, guys. Um, we'll be back here tomorrow night streaming live with our open mic from Performers Homes and me from here at the Kennet Flash. I'll be, we, we will be here next Friday night with Nicely Hawkins and Smith on uh, fr next Friday evening. And uh, looking into April, we have a lot of performances uh, that are announcing now. Uh, I think the first of which is the Honey Badgers the first weekend of April. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for your support of the Kennet Flash. We did exceed our goal this evening. Uh, thank you for supporting the Kennet food cupboard as well. Uh, there's still time. You can make a donation. Anytime is the right time to donate to the Kennet food cupboard. Thank you so much to the Cox for uh directing their donations that way and insisting that the donations be made to the Kennet Food Cupboard this evening. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Until next week, we'll see you soon, guys. Stay safe. Thank you. Good night.